and welcome to Tiger Art. Today, we're going to be continuing the Kuna Mola project. We started this project a few lessons ago with just a basic pencil drawing, learning some basic drawing techniques, like working with basic shapes first, uh, starting with the biggest shapes, drawing lightly so that you can erase and change things, and then getting into details later on. We never really got into too many details because of the way this project is going. We're using cut pieces of paper to glue together to make the picture, so that's not really gonna lend itself well to fine details. But that's okay, because we can keep it simple and fun. So to make this molo, we started with the pencil drawing, then we were working on building outlines in color on a black piece. Now we're going to be focusing more on what's going on inside the animal. So you will be starting a bit of the background too, but really today is about just focusing on coming up with a pattern or a plan for the inside and getting that all finished. Also, you could look back today if you're a bit behind and get caught up. Okay, so last time I left off about here, and I was in the process of applying a second outline to this. So I cut some pieces, I put some glue down where I want them to go, and then I stick them on. That's it. Alright, so when you're done with that step, just make sure everything's pushed on good. It's not curling up on you. And then you can go into the animal or plant and start doing some of that. Now, just talking quickly about what looks good usually and what looks confusing and a bit messy. So one thing I would say is have a plan. If you start taking random colors and you just start sticking them in here, that's not usually a good way to go about making something. I always like to think about it first, even just for a few seconds, to have some idea of what I'm going to do. I'm not going to tell you exactly what you need to do in there. I'm just going to tell you that you should take some time to think about it. I know that I don't want to use like white. I could use green if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pick two different colors. And let's say I pick light blue and how about red? Red would be a good color. That would stand out. So I'll cut some first. For an area like this, it would be okay to use some longer pieces. Now here it gets a bit different, so you can choose how you want to make these, but it should be organized and it should be some kind of pattern. So I am going to make a pattern just that alternates between red and light blue. I'm going to use my longer pieces that I had out. So these ones are going to be the red ones, and these will be the light blue ones. Think back to what a mola looks like. Remember it was divided into parts, and each part had like these lines going up and down. Now you could do line side to side too if you want, it doesn't really matter that way. The more important thing is that you understand and appreciate that molas are made up of um, patterns in line repetition. So you can do it either way. You could either put the glue on the piece like this, or you could put the glue right on there like this. Whichever is easiest for you. So I made these ones going sideways so that I'm gonna kinda alternate in like a checkerboard type of pattern. You don't have to do that. That's just, that was my idea at the moment, so that's what I'm gonna try. It 
Okay, I think I'm gonna use a different color for these parts. So if you run out of time and you've already been working for 40 minutes, including watching this video, then you could stop for today and take a picture and submit. I think I have a bit more time, so I'm gonna do these three parts and then I'm gonna stop. All right, that's it for today's tiger art lesson. So once you get done with this, you should only have the background left to do. You are going to take a picture and submit.